Good morning from Fiorano and welcome to Scuderia Ferrari Racing News number 6. We are now just before the last testing session before the season in Barcelona, but let's go and hear from the protagonists, Felipe Massa and Fernando Alonso. The goal is to, first of all, to finish you know, all these uh, weeks of testing. Uh, finish the test means prepare the car in the best way we can, uh, to, to check every single piece on the car, uh, on the reliability, even on the performance, which is very important for us now in the last test, to, to try to understand the good performance from uh, the new tyres, the good performance from the old tyres, the good performance from the um, uh, race simulation. So I think that's really, really important to finish all this, this testing we had. And, um, and, and be sure that uh, we have, we prepared the car in the best way we could for the first race. Because we know how one point is important for the championship. And uh, many people think first race is not, uh, it's just the beginning, you know, it's not so important. But it is very important because you know that if you lose points at the, at the beginning, it can be very, very um, uh, a problem at the end of the championship. So that's why we're working very, very hard to, to prepare the car, to prepare all the new pieces for the first race and uh, to be sure that we're gonna, we're gonna have a, a competitive car and a reliable car to, to start the season. The evaluation is uh, very different than last year in the way that um, uh, the idea of Formula 1 is to change a bit the strategies, to change a bit the, the, the race situation, you know, because we had a very hard tyres last year, tyres which um, even some races we did, like, um, you saw, we saw cars doing the whole race with one set of uh, soft tires, you know. And um, and uh, this year, with the with these tires, is is completely the opposite. So the the degradation of the tires is much higher. The tires is softer compared to to what we had in the past. And uh, the strategies in the race will be much different. So we're gonna have maybe minimum two stops. Uh, and in last year we had maybe one stop, I would say, 99% uh, of the races. So this year will be completely opposite. It will be between two, three, um, maybe even four stops. So it will be very, very different for the drivers, for the degradation of the tire, for the way of driving the cars, but also for the, for the people outside to, to watch a different race. I miss because, uh, first of all, I like the track. I won two times in Bahrain. And, um, for sure, when you build a car, you build the car to be the best in every track. You know, have all the different layouts. Uh, but the, you know, the most of the races in Bahrain, Ferrari was always strong. You know, we had, I think Ferrari won many races in Bahrain, and uh, we missed a little bit to go there in the track like that. And also, it's a nice place. I like the, I like Bahrain, and I like uh, to to be there. Uh, and uh, for what's going on for what's happening in the moment uh, it's not the right time to go there to to do a formula one race so but anyway i i really hope everything goes back to normal for all these people in bahrain for all these countries which is having similar problems so i hope you know everything become normal and we go back with a lot of happiness to to make these people enjoy uh, formula one robert is a great driver and uh, for sure it's important that he's back here write you know messages and uh, follow everything which is, is um, which he's doing you know um, and really uh, I really deserve uh, the best for him because uh, I had a similar problem you know I stay many months uh, at home watching the races at home and uh, I really deserve the best uh, uh, for him you know to go back and to 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 make everything you know which uh, is damaging his body to, to, to be perfect, you know, and uh, for him to be very 100% uh, healthy and, uh, and work, you know, very hard to, to, to come back here because the Formula One is missing him a lot. But now the most important thing is that he's 100% uh, okay and uh, he starts to work in a very hard way to, to come back here.
think the goal for this last test is to to try to test the, the latest uh, aero package that we bring in uh, Barcelona and then there is always a few things that uh, remain to test in the mechanical side, suspension, uh, tyres that uh, we keep learning every day. So there's still many things to, to do before Australia and uh, hopefully these days will be very, very productive. Yeah, I miss racing in Bahrain. Of course, uh, I think uh, for us we were ready to race uh, uh, in, in the middle of March, uh, where we are now and uh, obviously we were ready for that. I think also Bahrain deserve the, the race because the people there, uh, they love motor racing, they love Formula One, so we will be very happy if we come back there because I think the people deserve uh, a good show from us as well. But uh, now we are ready in Australia, so we need to keep concentration these extra 15 days and arrive in Australia uh, full of uh, determination. Testing point of view, I prefer to two days in, in dry conditions because uh, there is always more possibilities to learn about things and to test uh, more properly the car. It's true also that uh, we run very little on wet, so if finally it's, it's rainy on Saturday, in the final day, we will take obviously that opportunity to, to really do a, a good test in the, in the wet tyres for the, for the Pirelli guys. I think uh, no one can say now that uh, someone is uh, more favourite or less favourite. I think uh, we are all in a, in a similar position. We didn't show the full potential of anybody at the moment. Everything is still to, to come for Melbourne. So at the moment uh, we remain very calm, very respectful uh, for all the other teams. Uh, we know that we, we have to be strong, we must be uh, in, the, in the list of the favourites because we are Ferrari, but uh, we respect everybody and we will try to do our best and hopefully uh, that will make uh, a good form from us and for the other teams after three or four races we will see uh, very clear the picture. One of the most thrilling issues of the 2011 season is the return of the curse. Back in 2009, the kinetic energy recovery system was already used by some teams, including Scuderia Ferrari Marlboro. Let's go and see what changed from 2009 with Marco Galli, curse truck coordinator. KERS is uh, an acronym used for uh, uh, Kinetic Energy Recovery System. Then uh, the, this is a system that is uh, able to recover energy during uh, some phases of the usage and uh, to release energy in other uh, phases of the usage of the car. Uh, mainly what uh, basically how the system is done is that uh, it is based on uh, an electric motor connected to the normal engine. Uh, this electric motor is able to recharge a battery uh, during the braking phase mainly and uh, to re um, release energy during the phase where the driver is full, uh, full throttle and when the driver is on the straight. Um, the actual uh, rules uh, are uh, limiting the, the usage of cares, that means that uh, apart from the, uh, the recovery and uh, the release is, uh, is re uh, ruled as we have uh, said before, there is also a um, limitation in terms of uh, power and in terms of, of energy that we can release then uh, the, uh, the system is uh, limited to 60 kilowatt in terms of power and uh, uh, we can release uh, uh, only for a defined time then is more or less usable for 6.5 seconds per lap. Uh, the driver then can uh, use this, this system mainly to overtake the other cars or also uh, anyway you use the system also during a normal lap because with, this use, with the uses of the system he has advantages in terms of uh, lap time. The CARES has changed also something about the life on the box because uh, um, this is a system that is based on the high voltage battery then we have to take care on, uh, on the usage of these devices because uh, obviously there is uh, one possibility of dangers uh, 
compare, uh, higher compared to uh, the past. Uh, but uh, normally the, the system is designed to obviously to have no possibility to lose power or any way to have uh, problems. But anyway, the people, uh, we have procedures um, to avoid and to minimize the risks. Then you can see, for example, um, uh, mechanics using sometimes particular kind of gloves or, uh, or uh, shoes that are designed to avoid the, the high voltage uh, injuries. And uh, also during the normal job, uh, we, can, uh, we, can, we have particular procedures to avoid uh, or to minimize that and uh, to work normally as, uh, with, with, with also in in the, with the system mounted in the car. Since ever considered some kind of fascinating and mysterious object, the steering wheel is perhaps the most interesting car component for Formula One fans. This year, there has been a lot of talking about the driver switching buttons while driving and the safety connected to this. But let's hear how the 150 Italia steering wheel is done from Andrea Beneventi, Head of Electronics, Applications and Development. This is the 2011 steering wheel. Let's go to the buttons um, and, uh, and functionalities. For the gearbox, the driver can change gear by means of two levers on the back of the steering wheel, one to go up and one to go down in the, in the gear number. When he's in first gear, the driver press the neutral button to go into neutral and uh, just before stopping the car. The other buttons are the radio button to communicate uh, with uh, the boxer. He presses the button, the light is coming on beside the button and uh, this means he's in communication with the box. Then we have a drink button to, when he's thirsty, thirsty he can uh, drink from uh, the drink bottle that is on the car. There's uh, another, another button that is uh, used for the engine and uh, on the other side, uh, there is the pit limiter, which is uh, the button that uh, enables the pit limiter before coming into the pit lane to uh, have a constant speed. The other button, in case a little bit of the, the rev of the, of the engine to, um, to have a little bit more speed, these two buttons are related to the central rotary switches that is uh, like uh, a normal mobile menu, mobile telephone menu. And uh, with this you can select different functionalities and then with these two buttons you choose uh, the value of the parameter you wanna, you wanna change. And then with the OK button you say OK and then uh, you uh, have the parameter uh, into, used by the system. These three switches are used for different situations during a race weekend. Rotary switches, we have uh, one uh, uh, switch that controls the diff, the differential, and, you can, and the driver can lock or release the, the differential uh, in a, a particular uh, place of the, of the turn. Then you have uh, two rotary switches of, that are used for the, for the engine. One for the um, for the carburation and one for the rev limiter. Then you have uh, another switch, rotary switch that is used uh, is used for the uh, by means of which the driver can select uh, the torque map to use. There are two rotary switches that are uh, used for a new functionality we have on the car in 2011. The, the CURS, the Kinetic Energy Recovery System, which is back from 2009. These two switches are used to uh, set uh, the power release uh, and uh, the amount of charge uh, you want to put into the system. Basically, the CURS system is uh, uh, an electric motor with a battery, and uh, by means of those two, you select how to manage the battery. 
then to release the power of this uh, uh, system of the curse, the driver uses a button that is uh, uh, on the other side of the grip. This one, and by you know which it can release uh, the power of the curse. Another functionality is new in uh, 2011. The rear flap can be put uh, in uh, two different positions, so it's adjustable in the angle in order to reduce the drag and uh, to uh, allow an easier um, overtake. To change the flat uh, um, angle, the driver uses a, a button which is on the back of the steering wheel and by means of this, the flap can be adjusted. On the back of the steering wheel, just at the end, there are two levers that are uh, used to, for, for the clutch. The driver can use one or the other. They, are, uh, uh, they move the clutch in the same way. And by me, these, clutch, these uh, clutch levers are used uh, by the driver when leaving the, the garage or during a start. And with this, the program has come to an end. Stay tuned for the next Scuderia Ferrari Racing News. Ciao!